Well, friends, this is the old dogster here in the dog cave, and as you can see behind me, I am about to uh, review your paper. Now, what you were asked to do is write the introduction to the paper. We still got a lot to do as we go through 595. Now, I want to tell you right up front that I don't want you to get your feelings hurt in any way. You've done a really what I think is a very good job. We want to polish this thing. We've got some work to do to it. And the way that you learn to write is by writing. And the way that you learn to improve your writing is by critique. So, you know, hey, I still love you, but I do have a couple of things that I want you to change. Let's go down here and hit this and you go in with me. One of the first things I note in your paper is you have running head, the effect, and down here you have the effect. Oh, my land, you need to get that fixed. Now, you're running head the effect of no child left behind, and then you've got act on. You, you need to clean this up. This running head should be very concise, and it should speak to the point, but it shouldn't have all these things uh, left out here. Uh, the effect of the no, le no child left behind act might be fine, but get rid of them all. Now, what you did is that you went in and you chose to change the title that I gave you. I don't have any problem with that. I still love you. But I want you to understand that you've got some things to do when you when you make that decision. Uh, let me go back out here and get my formatting palette back up so I can eat you alive in case I notice anything. I notice that you have uh, this. Uh, so that's part of the title, too. You see that period there? Why do you have that period there? Uh, I went ahead and here you need to get, if you want to go with the effect of No Child Left Behind Act on Texas School District Ratings and Special Population Students, then you have changed the uh, purpose of the article that I gave you. You were to establish uh, and examine how Texas school district ratings, how the special population demographics differ according to Texas school district ratings. I would go back and use the title that I gave you. I think it would be cleaner. But that's up to you. But I'm going to hold you to follow in the title. Uh, I have asked Dr. Borgamenke to be your mentor or faculty. Uh, you'll need to enter him there. Of course, uh, instead of Lee Waller, I like L. Rusty Waller. Now, look at this Texas A&M uh, University hyphen commerce. You need to just do Texas A&M University commerce. Get that hyphen out of there. Again, your title here with a period, this literature review, I just don't like that right there. You need you need to, to get this running head fixed, but you also need to get rid of that literature review. You're opening your paper. You have a good opening sentence, though, over the past 10 years, public school districts in Texas. And I don't like have had more extensive accountability initiative imposed to increase educational quality in schools and advance student achievements. You need to clean, clean that up. Uh, Overall, your sentence structures appear to be pretty good. I want you to read through them for verb subject agreement. Uh, never use the word there when you turn a paper into me. That is an ambiguous noun. You need to rephrase this sentence and get rid of the word there. Additionally, public school administrators must make sure. Don't like that phrase either. I want you to get rid of that and polish this sentence. And oh, here's a biggie. It has. I hate opening a sentence with the word it. That's another ambiguous noun, and you need to avoid that practice. And if it's in the paper, I'm going to find it. And if I didn't find it, you change it before I come back and look again. Uh, the, this thing, aim to define. I wouldn't say aim to define. I would just say defined or established. So you would be in good shape with that. Again, there's another there in place. Get rid of there. Now, we're going we're gonna to hit some more of this in just a second. I know, friends, that there are those that uh, will argue that uh, a researcher can use first person. But now, you have to understand, I'm old school. To me, research, which is written in first person, is, is just a tr terrible, terrible thing to encounter. Change these back to third person and get rid of that first person. Now, you came in here and you did some things beyond what you were really asked to do, and that is you established a problem statement and all of that. I would suggest to you that you have diverted the, uh, the paper that I gave you to write towards a different direction. What I wanted you to do 
was to go out and follow a specific pathway. Let me carry you back to the subject that was yours to do. And your subject was, in Gamma Group, an examination of Texas school district ratings and special population students. If you'll go back to that question, then what we're going to do is we're going to take the differing group by Texas school district ratings, and we're going to examine different variables related to special population students. Uh, we might look at things like percentages of special needs students in the district. We might look at funding for special on special education. There's a lot of things that we're going to look at, and we will develop those as we get into the research modules. But I, I really think you need to go back and use the title that I gave you because by, by going to this, this title on, of No Child Left Behind, you in fact have diverted the uh, article into something that you're not actually going to do out of the AEIS database. Now, these, these questions we will develop when we get down into the next section. As a matter of fact, that will be in the, in the module that's fixing to open on October the 1st. Now, you probably right now are thinking, well, that old dog, he just shredded our work. No, I really didn't. I'm somewhat pleased, more than somewhat pleased. I am pleased that you, you have a good structure to start with. Uh, what you have done is written some sentences that have good verb subject agreement. Uh, you have pretty well documented the materials properly. Uh, those are th nice things. I'm, what I, things I'm asking you to do is to polish. Let's get rid of some of those bad practices in writing research, like starting sentences with it and there, by uh, doing have hads and and just going on and on. And like I, this aim to define uh, is is a little bit cumbersome. Smooth it out. Again, you've done a good job. Get rid of your first person and let's write in third person. Now, before I close this narrative, I just want to encourage you a little bit. Uh, Tecumseh Sherman in, war, in the Civil War, in American Civil War, said war is hell. Well, he said that because he had never written a paper. If he had written a paper, he would say war is almost equivalent to writing a paper. And not only are you writing a paper, you're writing a research paper with four scholarly publications. And uh, it's going to be a real neat process by the time you get through with it. Overall, you have a good project to start with. You just got some things to clean up. And I want you to clean those up very well and then submit it back to me again for another review. Now, one of the other issues I want you to do is to contact the library. And in the, from the librarian, determine how to run this paper through Turn It In. And then I want you to generate that report and share that report with me. Good job. Keep up the good work. I see your group is, uh, has been storming. I begin to see you forming, and before long, you'll start norming. Keep working together. You're going to have a good paper before it's all said and done. Have a great one.